Welcome to Big Brother's Little One. Hope you're very well. It's day 49, it's 7.32, a very special day. It's only Big Brother's birthday, everyone! Oh, and we're celebrating in style here on the world up with a champagne called popping start of a show. Off you go. Coming up, talking about Bookie's favourite, Brian, with Eastern boy Jake Muscles with us, everyone! Beating reporter Nikki becomes Liam. She endures a hard day's work as a tree surgeon. Brilliant. And we're going to be dropping in on former fake housemate Tyler Zuki. He's going to be hosting Big Mouth this week, although I wouldn't believe a word that cow says. Uh, and getting into the spirit of things, our delightful audience are with us. <laughs> Cheesy ball. Oh, my God, great catch! That was a great catch. She absolutely caught... She got that. She literally leapt like a salmon to get that cheesy ball. Uh, but first, are you one of those people who shouts at the television whilst watching Big Brother? Please don't shout at us. Well, how about you share it with us in Little Brother's Big Shout. Here's how they get in touch. Naila Leon! 0871 200 1040. Text studio in your comments 83188. Or email us channel4.com forward slash BBLB. Today, in honour of Big Brother's birthday, we want to know... Oh, look at that cake, man. That cake looks nice, Leon. You did a good job there. What do we want to know? Which housemate would you invite to your birthday party and or choir? Get your text and emails coming in. Get involved, you punks. Right, time to get bang up today with all the action only from the house in Little Brothers Big News. <laughs> I like your hat, I like your hat. You do the news! <laughs> <laughs> Never watch the show. At 9.56 this morning, some of the housemates agreed to Big Brother with a birthday gift they had made and a cake, but who will blow out the candles? Let's take a look. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Big Brother would like to blow out Big Brother's birthday cake. Big Brother's going to make a wish. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Big Brother. They weren't that impressed by that. I was amazed by that. It was like a miracle. At 1.35 this afternoon, the girls' revenge week continued in earnest as Jerry discovered something was a foot in the bedroom table. What happened to my shoes? I'm getting evicted and I want my shoes back. Are they here? What have they done to my shoes? It's really upsetting. They've stolen my shoes. What are you doing? I'm looking for my shoes. <laughs> They've stolen... Somebody has hidden my shoes, basically. Well, they won't be around mine or Carol's, but let's be blatantly honest. <laughs> Uh, Where's my shoes? Well, you lost keys? They've, they've hidden my shoes. Who's they? I, they, the, the, the conspirators. I don't know who they are, but somebody... Well, there's no names, you're just guessing. I really don't know what they for. What's happened with them? Gone. Yeah, I've Big Brother hasn't taken them, have they? No, it hasn't. I don't think they would. Do you think? Oh, I don't know. There's some peculiar things that have happened. Madness. Uh, I'm but so mad. A pair of shoes just gone like this. It was her, it was Carol, look, the big red arrow said it was. And at 3.11, the main event kicked off. But it wasn't any old birthday party, it was Big Brother's birthday party, so the fun and games were, of course, at the expense of the att uh, attendees. Take a look. Party goers, let's do the Agadoo. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. God. But I feel like it's kind of... Housemates, let's do the Agadu again. Whoa! Oh no, we have to keep on doing this. Let's go around, let's go around. Bring in the entertainers. Let's do the Agadu. Let's not. Ready. I love the song. I haven't heard this song for years. The twins will do the Agadoo all day. So far, the housemates have asked the Agadoo, uh, danced the Agadoo a joyous 23 times, and in the game of musical statues, emotionless for a torturous 22 minutes. That was the one big news. <laughs> right, you hold that. 
never watches a show. <laughs> right, our first guest became a household name playing Danny Moon in EastEnders. He's here to discuss his favourite housemate, Brian. So, from the Lunar to the Looney. <laughs> <laughs> it's acting Jake Maskell! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Nice to see you again. How are you? Right, I'm very well. How are oh, you? It was like when you come on the show, Jack. You've got, always got good opinions. Um, it's Big Brother's birthday. Have you uh, told our researchers about a present that we've mocked up and pretended it's yours? I brought a present. You brought a present to wonderful. What have you got? Well, I would like you to deliver it to Big Brother from me. I will That's do. right. D can I open that? You can, please do, on behalf of Big Brother. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's got batch pad written all over it. I like it. <laughs> Can I say why this is for Big Brother? Yeah. It's because the um, dye room chair looks so uncomfy. It does, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And it, it keeps hurting everyone as well. So there so... we go. They can put their little tushies on that. Yes. So, how are we liking this year um, and who are we liking this year? We're loving this year. It's, uh, it's completely addictive. I wasn't going to do it, but... I've been sucked they in. They really you in, don't they? they? Absolutely. Yeah, day two, you know. And it's... I'm not when you get... said you're not going to do it, are you, are you at home going... No, this year it's going to be different. It's, uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to have cycle rides this year. <laughs> I'm going to get myself fit. And then the second day you just go... Well, <laughs> the worst part of it was that I was doing a theatre job, so I missed it, because I was doing, you know, on theatre every night. But I, um, plussed it. Oh, there we go. And so every night I got back and got that, addicted. That's a slippy slope. So, and... um, you're a big, big Brian fan. What is it you love about Brian so much? Uh, we love Brian because he's, his tongue's too big for his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit like Jamie Oliver. You know, but he's from the same part of Essex, so maybe that's the thing. Maybe well, the tongue's maybe, big for the yes. Mouth. And that's why I love him, because he's from Essex as well, and I'm an Essex boy. Okay. You're an Essex boy. I well, am indeed. You? There you go. But I have to remain in Essex, Essex, yes. Um, now, get this, he's also a big fan of EastEnders, although he does have a slightly warped view of what happens in Walford. Take a look. <laughs> Are you not Barbara? Yeah, Barbara Windsor. And she's, she works in the Queen Vic, and that's in EastEnders and stuff. Oh, right. And she, when people come in the pub yeah, and stuff, yeah. they start having rows, and Peggy she goes, get out of my pub. EastEnders is quite different from Naples, because there are more rows and stuff, and people do like, they like getting killed on a daily basis in EastEnders. Oh, right. It's quite hard. If you was living there, it'd be quite a dangerous place to live. Is that, is that a real place? place? <laughs> do you know what? I actually think it might be. So, firstly, people die on a daily basis. Well, he's got a point. Come and on. Se <laughs> and secondly, Walford is a real place. It's well, it's on the tube map, yeah. What's the deal with Brian? Is Brian the real deal? I think he is, yeah. You can't fake that, can no. you? I mean, uh, he... It's exaggerated in the house, of course. You've got mirrors and it's... I mean, it's mental being in that house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think it just, he's just... He, it's, it, you know, a uh, grown, overblown sort of um, personality. Being now, with, with acting, do you do different accents and stuff, yeah? You have, have to learn to. how I'm to do that. Yeah, yes. exactly. Well, we've noticed the thing about Brian. We've been meaning to do this for the last couple of weeks, so we want to get your take on it. Whenever he seems to do an impression or portray anyone else, he always does the, one, the same weird American accent. Take a look. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my 25th birthday, and I'm quite, yeah. Do you know it's my 25th birthday, everyone? Don't talk to me like this. Sounds like American. Don't talk to me like this. Canadian. Like, yeah, did I tell you this word? It's like it's like the longest word in the world. Like, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, And like, yeah, I went to this, and I went to the museum, and I want to take you to the museum. You can see all this great stuff. It's in the museum, dude. It's so great. You have, you have a box? Yeah. I didn't see that one. You can't be doing that. Where the kitchen, please? Ooh, ooh. Where the kitchen, please? You can't be making like two leaves of cabbage for breakfast. You can't be doing that. Oh, yeah! Let's party hard, 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 party hard. Let's party, party hard, party, party hard. Yeah, brother. It's like, are you with the work of the devil and stuff? I can't really say it, like, guys. I love you guys. You're so great. This is just great. I can't believe how great life is, okay. Meander. Commander. Again, yeah. Come to the day room. And when we come to the day room, no, sorry, we don't want you. Can't keep doing this with us, big brother. Signing off, Mission Banana. Diego, tell it off now. Adios, amigos. It's just genius, isn't it? He wants to be in Pulp Fiction, that's what it is. <laughs> How does, you fancy himself as a bit of Samuel L, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, I think so. How do you think the accent fares there, mate? I, I think he's got um, a career in Hollywood ahead of him. We've got, we've got a little quote from his mum. We got in touch with her and she said, he's mad about Australia, uh, and he thinks that's an Australian accent he's doing rather than an American <laughs> one. 
Genius. OK. So, uh, Jerry or Nicky, who's going to go this week? A Nicky, 100%. OK. Yeah, I think they should sure? change Sure? Why are you so sure? Because uh, she's moaning, you know, she's just... And it's, it's not good moaning, it's bad moaning. OK, you know, it's brilliant. Bit... More from you later on for now. Thanks a lot, Jake Maskell, everyone! <laughs> Still to come, we're going to be popping into Super Big Mouth's latest guest host, Tyler Zuki, as she prepares for her first night at the helm and find out what happened when B Team's Nikki became a tree surgeon for the day. What could possibly go wrong there? And Jake and I are going to a very, very dark place. <laughs> Welcome back. It is day 49 and the time is 7.46. So to come, uh, Nikki playing with trees and Jake Muscle playing with an audience in a graveyard. But first, as uh, Aussie waitress Pauline Tyler Zuki spent two hours, uh, two days, four hours and 51 minutes inside the Big Brother house. But will that help in the next role's Big Mouth presenter? Let's go and find out. She's with her brother in now. Hello, everyone. Hey, Tyler, how are you? Hi, Dermot. I'm good. How are you? Give me you? a kiss through the box. Oh, my, oh tongues. Uh, nice. Tyler! Sorry. Um, how are you? You all right? I'm good. I'm good. OK, so you first things it? first. Um, uh, first night tonight, how nerve-wracking is it in comparison to Pauline? Um, it's nerve-wracking because I'm not used to presenting. Yeah. And I have to be myself. Yeah. And how are you a bit scared of the audience? Yeah. That's understandable. They're quite rowdy, aren't they? Have you shed the whole Pauline thing now? Are people keep coming up to you and saying, I mean, do they know it's Tyler or they keep saying up saying, hey, you some, No, some people have said, you're that, that faker, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. But um, no, there'll always be a bit of poo inside me. <laughs> and are you, do you find the whole kind of, the fact that you know the, the, the housemates better than anyone else, like a help or a hindrance? Um, well, I suppose I've only got Pauline's point of view, so... They were a certain way with Pauline. And you saw how they be... were as people. I did, I did. So hopefully that will be a help. OK, cool. Nice boots, by the way. Thanks. Lovely. OK. <laughs> All right, listen, thanks a lot, hon. Nice, nice to see you. Good luck tonight, yeah? Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye. everyone. <laughs> Loving the bread room. Where are you? OK. Oh, there we go. Right, as part of our service to uh, you, the BBLB viewer, we like to find out what the housemates do and where they come from. So when Liam's work colleague... Invited us to help him out with a spot of tree surgery. We thought it was too good an opportunity to miss. Unfortunately, the insurance won't cover me uh, if I fall out of a tree. B team's Nicky, on the other hand, no problem. Today I'm reporting from Durham and I'm at Liam's workplace to find out from his colleagues what the hell is a tree surgeon. You're going to tell me a little bit about what tree surgery involves. Can do, yeah. What, what do you want to know? What is that? It's, well, it's the care and maintenance of trees in the urban environment. <laughs> We've got his climbing kit in here, which we're going to put on eBay and sell. I can assure you, no one's going to want that. Oh! Look at that! Liam in a boob tube. Look at that. Employee of the Year 2006. Will you give me a job? We'll see. We'll see how you get on the day. We might give you a little tryout. See what you like. Oh, I'd rather die. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm so hot, I need to get my cardigan off. There's a chainsaw dangling from the tree. Oh, you go to college, learn how to chop off branches, and it's called a tree surgeon. Um, not quite. Oh my god, this is worse than the rides at Orton Towers. Don't you dare let go of that hacksaw. Oh, so high. This is Nikki signing out from Durham on the tree factory. So, back over to you, Dermot. Can I get down now? Hello, mortals. As you may remember, Jake's character in EastEnders was tragically killed by his own brother. Thankfully for us, all the housemates are alive and well. But that hasn't stopped us from mocking up this authentic-looking graveyard, <laughs> complete with traditional, eerie music. Very nice. 
Now, before the housemates entered the house, they were asked what would be a fitting epitaph for them. In other words, what would be written on the gravestone? Here in Little Brother's big graveyard, we have three different examples. Jake and the audience have to work out which housemate each one belongs to. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm scared. <laughs> Wonderful. First one is here. Anyway, as I was saying, any thoughts about that person? What does that say? Anyway, as I was saying, saying. Fitty, a fitting epitaph for whom? Charlie. You think Charlie? Audience, what would you say? Charlie! Audience, you look dead yourselves. Is there a problem with you? Let's find out with the help of my pet bat, Michael. Michael, where are you, my love? <laughs> Michael, come here to me. There's a good boy. Mwah. Off you fly, Michael. <laughs> I can tell you it was... Carol. Carol. Anyway, as I was saying, it's Carol, OK. Let's walk to Gravestone... Oh, dear. Oh. Let's walk to... <laughs> That one's a bit old. Let's walk to gravestone number two. No, I can't. It's too terrifying. <laughs> King of dignity, my poor friend. OK, over here. Gravestone number two. Worked hard, play hard, came and conquered. What are your thoughts? It's got to be. Who? Ziggy. Do you like Ziggy? No. Why? <laughs> Is he a slimy snake? OK. <laughs> You sure you don't want this? OK, let's see if, if I can find Michael to let us know if there's the correct answer. Audience, do you have an idea? Yeah. Carol. 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 We can't have Carol again. <laughs> you can't have two gravestones. Let's have a look. Michael, where are you? Michael! Come here to me, Michael. <laughs> hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. Michael. <laughs> What'd you say, Ziggy? Audience, what'd you say? All right, copycat. Yeah. Mr. Jake did it. I'm going to do it too. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Worked hard, played hard, came and conquered. That is Ziggy. That's okay, Ziggy. Let's come over here. Oh my God, that's your character. <laughs> <laughs> had, uh, like, oh, he likes Bunny Cam. That's the last year. Oh, I love Bunny Cam. He put that in. You're so spiteful. I can't believe he put that. Here's our last one. <laughs> Not ever to be forgotten. Don't be sad. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> no, no effort to be forgotten. Don't be sad, I'll be back. It's got to be... Charlie. You think Charlie? Charlie. Audience? Yeah, OK, let's take a look. Michael, for the last time, where are you, my love? Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Here we go. Not ever to be forgotten. Don't be sad, I'll be back. Oh my God, it properly is Nostradamus time. Charlie! Well done. Moving seamlessly on from graveyards to evictions now on Friday. Time runs out for either Jedi or Nikki in the house as one of them will face the chop. Who goes is up to you. These are no school. To evict Jerry, call 09011 21 22 13. To evict Nikki, call 09011 21 22 08. At least uh, 10p of each school will be donated to charity. Details can be found at channel4.com forward slash big brother. Uh, big shout time now. Uh, Jake's still with us. Let's go to the webcam. The um, question we asked you is which housemate would you invite to your birthday party and why? I believe Michael's in Sussex. Hello, Michael. Hello, Dermot. How, How are you doing? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. You Who mean? would you invite to your birthday party and why? I think it would have to be the twins because they'd bounce around all the sofas and make it really fun and pink. Wonderful. For a second, I thought he said, I think it would have to be a swingers party. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know, slightly so. worried. I thought we might have had the wrong call there, Michael. Do you think <laughs> the twins, I mean, the twins, they, 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 they're enjoyable and they're fun and stuff, but, you know, you need a bit of moroseness later on in the night at every good party, mm. don't you? They just wouldn't have that, would they? Mm, I don't know. When they get whatever the few drinks they make. <laughs> OK, brilliant. Thanks, Michael. Thank you, bye. Jake, who would you have at your party? Out of I, all... I think I would have... Can I have Shabnam? Oh, I don't know. Well, I, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the Grim Reaper, so I suppose she can come back from the dead. Yes, I yeah, suppose you can. Yeah, why not? Why would you have her? Because she was fun. I liked her. Was she your favourite? She wasn't my favourite, but um, she... 
she kind of stoked the fire a little okay, bit. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, Ryan in North London is up next. Hello, Ryan. Hello there, Janet. What are you saying there, Ryan? Um, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> That's very kind of you. What else are you saying vis-a-vis -vis the text and email subject? Well, um, I'll definitely have Ziggy at my party. Why would and you I, have Ziggy at your party? I, because I know a lot, of, not a lot of people like him, but I think he's um, a bit of a ladies' man. I, I, I can see myself getting along with him. The only thing is, Ryan, if you invite Ziggy to your party, he's cracking off with the best-looking girl, you're left with the old scraps. I've got a girlfriend. <laughs> You've got a girlfriend, so yeah. all above board. Listen, we haven't, talked, you, we haven't talked earlier about why don't you like Ziggy? Ziggy why seems like a nice guy. No, he's two-faced. Do you think he's two-faced? Yeah, he's really horrible to Chanel. You, you think that because of the whole Chanel thing? Kind of, yeah. And then with Charlie, you know, he's saying one thing to Charlie. She's saying that she didn't like um, him talking to her. Mm -hmm. And he's kind of telling two different stories. OK. Billy and Sterling's up next. Thanks, Ryan. Hello, Billy. Hello, Derek. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Who would you like at your party? I would invite Charlie to my party. Oh. Are you insane? I'm what? not insane. What no. would happen at your party? <laughs> I'd have her at my party because I think her outrageous behaviour would liven things up a bit. And also, hopefully, she'd do some more of her um, embarrassing dance routines for a bit of entertainment. What, do you think the can't get you out of my head routine in particular? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, I know where you're coming from. She'd be, she'd be booking, wouldn't she? In her um, as well. I would love to invite... Je yeah, exactly. I'd love to invite Jerry, as he's so lovable, comical and cute. I'd invite Carol, as she could wash up, from Jamie Spooner. Um, I would invite um, Samantha to my birthday. They wouldn't learn those dance routines for nothing, damn it. That's from uh, someone, McGann. Uh, thank you so much. That is pretty much it for tonight. Thanks a lot, audience. <laughs> Big thanks to all our guests. We are back tomorrow, 7.30 on E4, with uh, Liberty X honey Jessica Taylor. <laughs> Catch up with all the ladies from the house tonight, 9 o'clock on Channel 4, and then the Big Brother uh, Big Mouth with Tyler, 10 o'clock over on E4. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks a million. Take care. Everybody.